Grossum of Obukidi. Great grossum of Ayaka the Great. What brings you to the presence of Agui Oriobara? Great Oriobara. Great Oriobara. I am forever faithful to you. I am highly honored for accepting my humble sacrifice once again. I am loyal ancestors of Alubu. I have come here with a heart heavy with tears and anguish for the slavery and the bondage which my entire household has been subjected to by poverty. The life of penury have I known since I was a child. The same fate is that of my beloved and only son, H.K. Mowa, who the wicked claws of poverty has reduced his manly values and denied him the peace and happiness his fellow young men enjoy. Toiling and humiliation have been his daily dreams. It hurts me to see his tears of affliction. It, it, it hurts me when I watch him toil endlessly to no avail. Great Uriobara, please, this is why I have come to you. With the sadness and concern of a loving father for his son's mishap, for you to unravel the mystery of this poverty that has beclouded my family. Please, give him riches beyond every human imagination. Grant him success and prosperity above all his mates. Wipe the tears of poverty from his eyes. I cannot make demands for all these favors for myself, knowing I am like a withering man that each breath draws close to his grave. That even if I am gone, my spirit cannot rest in the land of my ancestors until my entire family is set free from the bondage and humiliation of poverty. And my son is made the envy among his equals. Great Uruabara, please help me. Your words are well understood. Your request as clear as crystal. Hold the remedy to your predicaments is soaked in blood. Lord! How do you mean, Great Uriobara? I am willing to grant you your desperate request. But you must pay a little price in return. I am ready to pay any price. The blood of your son, Ejikeme. Impossible demand, the great one, impossible demand. 
How can I shed the blood of my own son? On whose behalf I embarked on this journey? Please, great Oriobara, make demand of any other thing, but not the blood of my own son. Please. My name remains Oriaba. The blood is my only fist. However, I shall give you a fair option. The only blood that is equal to that of your child is the blood of a male from your household. Since there is none but him, your own blood is the last. You have to be the sacrificial lamb. What? You had me. <sighs> your death is his properties. Riches beyond mortals' imagination. The choice is yours. I need some money. AJK, how many times have I told you that Chief has not given me money? I know, sir. I know you've told me, but I need some money. Pico, no matter how small, I have family issues, serious problems that I need to solve with money, Pico. Are you deaf? Didn't you hear what I said? I don't have money. I heard you, sir. But please, for the sake of God, just help me. You're the engineer here now. There's no way you, you will not have small thing in your pocket. Biko, just help me. It would be terrible for me if I get home today without any money at all. How is that my business? Am I responsible for your miserable life and misfortune? Please, if you will excuse me.
Like 
A quick notice. Darling, I'm asking you again. Uh, where are you packing to? Hey! Hey! Don't do don't, 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 don't tell me, I'm scared. Don't tell me! As you can see, eh, I am done packing my things. I am done with the shame of a thing called marriage. This thing called marriage, I am done, HK. I'm ashamed of being of being seen with a weakling like you. A man that cannot live up to his responsibilities as a man. Talk more of paying his bills. Hey, HK. I know, don't do this now, Biko. It's me, oh. You can't leave me. Biko, don't go. Say my love, man. Don't go now, please. Don't go. Ejike, I am done with your flat. It's not those days you used to deceive me. I can now see. I am no longer blind. Let me go and pick up the pieces of my life before you destroy it. You are ill luck. You are bad luck, Ejike. You are bad luck. I am done. No, don't do this now, Biko. Don't do this. We can settle this thing. Don't settle? Don't, 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 don't kill me in the process now. Listen, my love, I still love you. This thing is a small thing, I know. So, Pico, don't do like this now. If, if, if you leave me like this, who are we? Oh, my love, Pico, now I will not survive this thing you want to do. You will I, survive it, Pico. You will survive it, You will survive it, Pico. You will survive it, Pico. I have done it, Pico. I have done Now, Pico, Pico. Who is your love? Who is your love? Do this. Eh? Do you do I am tired. I don't know what to do. I still want to marry. Don't do this. I am tired. Leave me alone. I am tired. I don't want to marry again. You are shouting. I am tired. I don't want to marry again. Leave me alone. I don't want to marry again. I am tired. And man, no. I still want to marry. Don't do this thing now. You can't finish this. Me, oh. Hey, it is not that I have that kind of money to give to you now. But let me see what I can do. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. You. God will bless you. But on one condition, you'll give me that parcel of land of yours at Ekoha as a collateral. And if you don't pay back within one month, the land becomes mine. Ah, no, now. It's here. Ah, my Amadi, that's, that's, that is too harsh now. That's too harsh. What on end, Nakibu? Easy now. This is the only inheritance I have. The only thing we have, that parcel of land. We take it and, and give to you. What we, we, tell us to bring another collateral and not that one. Is it still not your inheritance? Or are you saying you do not want to pay back again after all? Answer me. It's okay. Uh, my son, HKM, I understand your fears. I understand your fears. But we don't have the time for such now. Hmm? You know your mother's life is at stake. So we don't have further time for moral dialogue. Huh? Amade. <laughs> we 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 concur. Aha. We concur. You now spoke like a man. Good. Let me now go and bring the document for us to sign to avoid as you know it's my usual procedure to avoid had I known in, in the future okay, wait for me Alright, 
Mr. Omadi, I've seen the land. It's good. The thing is that I will get back to the chief of today and tell him everything. We'll yeah. get back to you. Uh, uh, chief, good day, sir. Yeah, good day, Meiji. Good day, Biko. Can I have a, a word with you in private? Oh, for sure, for sure. Excuse me, chief. What are you what are you doing on, on this land? Which land? Are you drunk or blind? What kind of stupid question is that? Ah, it's, it's, it's not a stupid question. Don't I have the right to ask what is going on on my father's land, my land? Whose land? How long has it been since you and your father borrowed the money for the treatment of your mother? Answer me. Three months, sir. And what is the maximum period in the agreement for the payment of the loan? One month. <laughs> and you are saying now it is your land? Uh, it, 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 it hasn't got into this. Yeah? I know we, it, it, it's been over one month and you know by right you're supposed to take the land. Man, it's here. You're my father's friend. Don't do this now. This is the <laughs> only thing I can boast of in this world now. Piko I, I, I will pay. Just give me some time. I, I promise you, I will pay. Piko. You should have considered that before taking the loan. Well, I'm not responsible for your ill-fated life. Neither am I a charitable organization to throw a whooping 80,000 naira to the lagoon in the name of sympathy. Well, if you'll excuse me, let me conclude the bargain for the payment of the land. Hey. Che, che, don't do this now. No, what is going on? No, no, there's no problem. No problem. Just make sure you get the money in time. Okay. No problem. He's a little boy. Okay. He just wants to... Hey, GK, I have concluded with you. Go. And get... Go. The land is no longer yours. Go. You mean your son, Ejike Mowa, here wants to have my daughter's hand for in marriage? Yes, of course. Eh? You know, my son is of age to settle down. I demanded that he should get married. Hmm? So, what's your problem with Robbie Obuna? <laughs> and uh, it happens that your daughter Oluchi is ripe up that he deserves to pluck. Yes, you know, <laughs> like mother, like daughter. Like daughter. I'm a nigga, so no yiri. I'm I'm just gone. Um, no Oluchi. <laughs> Let me go and call her for you. <laughs> <laughs> I know somebody called her. What is somebody at the church? What is the meaning of this? It means that you should stay away from my daughter. How won't I want you enough? You want a fetter with a poverty shrinking life? Or cause by that you're eligible to tell that want to ask her hand in marriage. Hey. Like you've not fed yourself very well. You want to ask my daughter's hand in marriage. If it's true, if I didn't hold you, you throw this foot on them. Hey. Take it easy now. You are so aggressive. If they don't leave my house right now with their four wretched legs, I will show them the definition of uh, aggression right now. Look at them. No, no, Papa, 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 let's go. Hey! Afo! Afo! Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for the insult to your wife and you yourself have heaped on my son and my and me. Thank you. But Obajenta Gachono Orange, you shall see me very soon. Hey, bueno. look, look at him, you're bragging. Look, 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 look at them. Come and shut up your mouth. No, leave me alone. Do you know what you have done to me? Do you know you slapped my face? Go, go, go. Come on, come on, come on.
Man, no, mm. Man, no, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Ah. Which one is what am I doing here? Look, okay, I'll be a meeting now. Shift for me. Yeah. Let me. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, I'm on the Which meeting? Have we not informed you that you are no longer a member of Alaoku's age grade? <laughs> it is obvious that you cannot pay the financial dues involved. So, please go. Baby, I don't know what can stop this thing you're saying. Stop it, though. Where does it happen in this world? So open a mother man who deals at the Atupiana group. Where does it happen? Do that now. Do that. I will pay. Soon. Soon. How long is this soon? Each time you're giving one excuse or the other. If we younger ones here can pay, why is it that you cannot pay? If we keep giving that same excuse, how are we going to get funds to run this our age group? So I will advise you that you have to go and look for something to eat. So you can feed yourself and your wretched family. Without that, I don't think you belong here. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> EGK, good advice for you. Be a kangwayo, ade buagu ejemba. No brave man goes to the rest of contest hungry. So it's better you leave us alone. Go! Shema, and Chibozo, you people should be very careful of what you are doing. You know? So because he doesn't have money to pay his dues, he says he should leave. Yes, now he should leave now. Remember tomorrow. I'll then pay for him now. I think you have to join. We are educated. Please leave us alone. Let's continue with our meeting. Leave. Move us. Go. Leave now. Let's go. 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 enough. Rather, she adds more sorrow to your heart. It is so unfortunate how life has been for you. But you have to live again. You need to smile again. Remember, life gives birth to hope. Hope brings forth tenacity. And through tenacity comes success. Even if Auntie gives up on you, Oga, you should not give up on yourself. You need to rise again. You need to come above your limits, your weakness, your humiliation and affliction. That is if you have faith. Excuse me, I'm coming.
sugar. It is my whole life savings. I made it from the condolence visit of my friends and relations during my father's burial. I have kept it, hoping that one day I will have a need to it to better my life. But now I see a greater need for it. A greater need to save a soul. Your soul, Oga. It is not much. Okay, it's only 55,000. But I know that at least he can help you to pay the house rent of this house or do other things. Please. You cannot you can pay me whenever you have the money. I won't ask you for it. No. I can't take this. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. But no, no. I cannot take money from someone that should be given my own house paid. There are times in life when the odd becomes a norm. Do not break my heart by saying you will not collect this money. You need it. Please, take it. Success is the one that you use everything within your power to heal a wounded heart. The smiles you restore to that face is what's more than silver and gold. Oh God, you are a good man. You have always been nice to me. You have taken care of all my needs and even the needs of my poor mother in the village. That is why I decided to stay here, even when we can barely feed. But I know why, because I know that definitely one day, my God will bless you because of your beautiful heart. So, Oka, please, do not reject this money. Now that I have the opportunity of reciprocating this kindness which you have rendered to me, please, take the money. Chimamanda, my God never fails, and my God will never ever let you fail. In Jesus' name. Oh God, I was going to tell you this before. I'm thinking of going back to the village. Yes, since Madame have gone, you won't be needing much help here, and my staying back here will only become a liability to you. You... You actually have a point. I'll be so lonely here. You won't be lonely. God will always be with you. Um... Olga, I will go and make something for you. But remember, anytime you ever need my help, always call on me. I always come around. Let me go to the market. Uh, come on, take some. No, don't worry. I will squeeze up on the one I have.
Oh, Mama, Tom. Brother. Uh -huh. How are you, uh, Mama and Papa? Brother, I'm fine. No. Just that uh, Papa has been so sick. You need to come back soon, so we'll take him to the hospital. Eh? Why? Uh, is it very serious? Brother, it is so. It is. Okay, okay, okay. No problem. Calm down, eh? Calm down, calm down. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll see what I can do. Huh? Okay, okay, brother. Eh? Bye bye. What did he say? Mama, my son is coming back soon. He's okay. He's coming back soon. Okay. Eh? He's coming back soon. Okay. It's no joke. It's no joke. The situation is critical. Honestly. Did you know? As, as I speak with you, eh, I can't even boast of 500 naira. I'm telling you, it's terrible. That's why I came to you, please. Just, just, just give me a small thing so that when, when I take transport to the village, I'll still have a little remaining that I'll use for um, hospital bill. Not more, just small thing. See, I understand your situation. But as it is right now, I don't have any cobble. Shishi, I don't have. If I have, I'll give you. Sorry, no. Boko, I know you. I know you. If you want to give me, you give me. I know you now. Ah, see where you are living. See your house. I can't tell me you don't have just small things. I'm not even asking for much. Just I don't have any money. Do you want me to rob, to rob the bank? If I have, I will give you. Understand me? Things are very hard. Very, very hard. Understand me? Just yesterday, I took the, the, the money that Amanda gave to me. I, I gave to that, that lawyer that stopped my life, my house rent, so I can have some peace. I know that. I just kept this money. I used it to go and see my father. That's 5,000 naira. The money I meant to go to the market and buy some goods, but you can have it. Considering what is involved here, your father's life is important. But please, try and pay me back. Try. Try, Joe. <laughs> Joe, you are really a good friend. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Do you know, Joe, it was like three days ago that they informed me that my father is very sick in the village. I have not been able to get you don't see Joe. I wish you the best. It, it's okay. Let, right. let me get home so I can change. All right. I'm going to change. Thank you. Thank you. Amar, I said you were, uh, that you, you are very, very sick or... Yeah. She's, I, but I'm here now. As you can see, I am strong. Oh. Thank God. Actually, the sickness was very severe. Could not give me any breathing space. But later, I started getting improvement. And I said, I have to visit you to avert your tears and pains. Because I know who my son is. You must have felt so bad. In fact, I'm just coming from where I went to borrow money. Like I used to go to the village to see you. 
So, uh, wait, Papa, you mean you are, you are strong enough to... Son, I am very strong. Huh. My reason for this visit is to avail us an opportunity to discuss some important issues oh, okay. of our family. That is why also I am here. Come in. My son, put off that phone. Switch it off. I won't like any disturbance in this our discussion. My son, the terrible situation is giving me so much concern. It has given me sleepless nights. and the humiliation that you have been passing through. And because of this, I have taken some decisions. I have taken essential steps to see if I could alleviate the situation. Don't be shocked. But the solution to your problem, to your predicament, lies in my hands here. use any part of this money for any other thing except the business that you will invest in this money. Not even to save life. Not even when I am in sick bed. Not even in my burial. <laughs> I'm starting to scare me. Because don't talk about being on a sick bed or you die. You're not going to die. Huh? Nobody's going to die, Papa Biko. You're very important to me. Yeah. You will live very long. Yes, huh? yes. We won't say it again, but... Um, Papa... I know your condition. Yeah. How did you get this money? Let us say I sent it. That where this money comes from is not of any relevance. That what matters is the purpose this is why I say, do not use it for any other thing. By the time you obey all I have instructed you, very soon, you will become a very rich man. Okay. I've heard everything you said. But I promise you, I will obey. 
I'll do as you have instructed. Thank you once again. Thank you, my son. This is why I love you so much. It shall be well with you. I am blessing you again and again. No sacrifice of a father is too much for his son. One more thing. Henceforth, your name will become Ojo Fogana. You will no longer be the EGK Moa. Why? Yes. That is a wise question from a wise son. You are wise. The answer is that many names associated with evil. Therefore, misfortune. Why others go with fortune, growth, success, good luck, educate a more well, has not been favorable to you. But with your Fogana will lead you to your destiny. First time I'm hearing you sound this way. The words are quite deep and strange to me. But um, you are my father. And you know the best for me. I will do exactly as you have instructed. Good. And one more thing, my son. Tomorrow, you will accompany me to the village. There are some revelations there for you. Okay, say so. Yes, and yet one more thing. I want you to swear an oath that whatever we have discussed here in this my visit will remain a secret between the two of us. I swear. Oh, didn't I? <laughs> that's why, that's why I love you so much. We shall be well with you again. I remember something that is very important and needs urgent attention. Okay. Let me rush and collect my money from Ujuku for the pan wine I supplied him before my ailment, lest he travels to Atani, as he told me yesterday. Uh, now, can, can't it wait? Let's get home first. I, I can go and get it for you. Son, I must hurry. It is something I cannot risk. I will join you at home soon. Hmm? Okay, if you say so. Uh, one thing more, my son. There is something very important. Lest I forget, let me give it to you now and here. Take it. Take it. Just take it. Take it, my son. Papa. My son. What is, what is this? What is it for? That is a symbol of greatness, long life, and protection. This thing? Yes. 
I secured it from a great source. Keep it with you wherever you are going to live as a home. And do not allow it to leave your household for any reason. If it does, regret shall be the aftermath. So be warned. <laughs> Papa, you started sounding strange again, just like you did uh, yesterday when you came. Uh, what? I've never known you to be a superstitious person. Well, what is this for? Son, situation calls for this. Situation calls for this. Like I told you, this statue is not an ordinary one. It's not. It will herald your future. More as a demigod to you. So don't joke with it. Like you would not like to joke with your father. Have I ever disappointed you? Never. Good. So you should show more obedience to your father in return. Oh, okay, Papa. But um, uh, at least we can discuss it more when you come back from Uchuku. Ah, if fate wills. How do you mean? <laughs> My son. Can't your father joke with you? Now no, 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 remember, if fate permits it all, even our last breath. That's true. That's true. Good. Sir, see you. Okay, Papa. Well, um, Papa, wait, wait. I can, I can help you with your bag. Let me keep it at home. No, son. I can carry it. At least I will put in something that I will get from where I'm going to, into it. Yes. Okay. No problem. Yes. Um, one thing. My son. For the last time, never allow anybody, anybody, to hear all the things we have discussed recently. Am I clear? Good. You are blessed. Go well. Take care, my son. I'll be expecting you. Okay. Which Hiroko? We lost your father yesterday. Eh? My father. <laughs> Welcome! You would have for a mission well accomplished. Since you have given him the money, which represents his future untold riches. The statues which represent his secret initiation and loyalty to his brotherhood. And thirdly, a new name which represents his spiritual identification. You can now join your ancestors for a peaceful immortal rest. Be rest assured that I will always be with him. Rest in peace, Ibudu, son of Anyaw. Farewell, son of Awogini. Farewell, son of Ayaka the Great. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Let you my son. The person that visited you is not your real father. It is his spirit. Maybe he came to convey a very important message to you. There have been a similar incident in the past, especially when the person in question is attached to the disease. He even, he even, he, he even what? Never mind. <sighs> well, now that you have cleared your doubt, I suggest that we call our kinsman tomorrow and fix a date for his burial. Not yet. No, no burial yet. Uh, let my father's corpse remain in the mortuary for now. The money our kingsmen contributed will use it to, you know, be paying the uh, mortuary bills. Let him be there while I go back to the city and also for now. We may incur more debts from that mortuary that we will not be able to afford. I would have suggested we bury him, but you have the final say. It's okay with me. That's what you decided. Um, <sighs> you People should take heart. It's one of those things in life. There's a Latin word we use to console ourselves. It says, Omnibus es morando. All living things must die. Mm -hmm. I will see you people tomorrow. Uh, like I said before, I I will be leaving tomorrow. I want both of you to be strong. Mm -hmm. Papa is gone. Life continues. Huh? Please be strong, even when I'm not here. I have heard you, my son. <sighs> my son, as for me, I want my husband's corpse to be buried, as our kinsmen wanted. But since you insisted that we should hold on, what more can I say? You are now the head of the family. Your decision stands. Yes. Let it remain that way. Very lucrative okay. um, as it was before you left it. Okay. Um, but it's quite unfortunate that you don't have enough capital to start up again. Um, as a friend, I suggest you start buying in gallons and reselling. Huh? With that, God being by your side, uh, you make a headway from there. All right. Thank you very much for your advice. Huh? Um, you said you were going to show me a place I can stay and start off from, from there. Yeah, I did. Okay, can you show me now? 
Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, let's go. Let's, let's go. Let me start.
Um, point of correction, uncle. My name right now is Ojo of Ghana. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry, my son. Ojo of Ghana. Carry on. <clears throat> but you know, it has been almost three months now that your father, Ibudu, remains is still in the mortuary. And from the look of things, you are not doing better financially. Don't you think it's time we'll give him a befitting burial? Hmm. Son. Papa. Promise you are going to give me a befitting burial when I die as my last mortal honor. As for the money, you are going to have more than enough. Tell me. Mm, um, Uncle, you have a point. Yes, and like you rightly put it, things are getting better. Eh? You can see. I can see. <laughs> I can see. <laughs> but it's not yet time to bury my father. No. No doubt things are getting better, but I want to do more business. Let me work more and make more money. I want things to get even much better. Huh? So that I can give my father the kind of burial I want to give to him. A befitting burial. Eh? Okay. No, 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 no. Well, I agree with you, my son. <laughs> That's a good idea. Uh, this money, the money is all over you. Well, <laughs> All of this. Spend it. Hey! Hey! That supply to uh, Rustic Limited. You must get it today. Huh? Don't forget, Rod Stick Limited, they get their supply today. Okay? Um, I'm going for a meeting at our other branch up um, along this road. Okay, sir. Yes, I'm supposed to have um, with this, uh, Waziko and Sons. Okay. They'll be coming here to okay. see me. The moment they get here, call me on the phone. Okay, Don't sir. forget, okay, Waziko sir. and Sons. Any other person that comes, I'm not around. Okay. Let them come tomorrow. seen a burial list like this. This is outrageous. What are you doing with five cows, five cooling vans, plenty of buffet, even 10 million naira casket? As far as I'm concerned, this is a total waste of money. Uncle, I don't want to go to the If you want to go to the hospital, I don't want to go to the hospital. This is my money. Huh? Stop talking to me like this. It's my money. Allow me to spend it. It's not yours. Ugane Malim in this village. I was insulted in life and even in this our village because I didn't have money. Now that I have it, allow me to spend it the way I want to spend it. Uncle, leave me alone. Besides, my father was a good man. Okay? Forget the fact that he died a pauper. You know, my father was a good man. Alright? Everybody knows that. So allow me to give him a befitting burial. The kind of burial that he deserves. Why am I father of man? Don't worry about money. Even if I buy a casket for 20 million now, 50 million, even 100 million, don't use my father there. It's not a problem. Eh? My father deserves it. Only in Avokubu, OJ Oil and Gas. In fact, you know my plan. Tomorrow I'm going to see the Igwe. I want to tell him to give my father a title. Hmm? My late father. Senior title, called and that title is Akane Mego One Nini of Aluku Village, and I know he'll do it. Hey, Ojafagana, hmm? 
it is unheard of in our culture. Don't Giving worry. the cops a title. Don't worry, Uncle. Wait till I see the Igwe tomorrow. Igwe, I want you to honor my father with the title of Akane Mego One Nani. Uh, son, what you're asking for is so difficult for me because I don't know how to grant it because it's never done in our in our land. So I think. You go and think over that matter. Because it has never done in our land. It's against our tradition indeed. So go and think <clears throat> over it. Igwe, um, I actually moved around and I asked questions. And I know that what I'm asking for, it's not done in our land. It's against our tradition. But it is done in other lands, in other communities. So because it's done there, I believe it can also be done here. Igwe. Ega bro kwa nungu mbo maze. Oye nwe ego si megini. Si kwa eni ya ugu igwe. I want my father to be given a title. I want him to be honored in death. And I believe that this will facilitate my request. Igwe, this is for you. Um, <coughs> um, you see, um, you say it's been, it, it, it's been done in other places, uh, but, uh, but uh, how do we start it now, uh, at this time? Igwe, yeah. I'll add this one. Ha. You see, if I have my way, I would have done something about this. Eh? Uh, but, <laughs> Oh, what can I do? No. Igwe, eh? I want you to have your way now. This is the third one. Hi. <coughs> uh, uh, I, I will make uh, some consultation with my elders and see if it is possible. Igwe, eh? Consult your elders now, Igwe. This one is for you. <laughs> My son, <laughs> you are the lostest son of uh, our local kingdom. <laughs> you see, in fact, let me tell you, you are the pride of this community. Let me assure you right here that your request is granted. <laughs> <laughs> And we will do everything to decorate his insignia with the title. <laughs> 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 AGK, wait, am I saying clearly? AGK, hey! AGK, you now own this car. Hey! hey! I beg you. AGK! Point of correction. Abuego Nkiti, one of Aluku. Or OJ Oil and Gas. Or see no, I will go and get you one. Hey, I will go and get you one. I will go and get you one. Hey, you not forget. You not forget now. Remember when you were chasing me out from the meeting? Hey, your voice. Eh? Yeah. Okay, I'm trying to get away, my friend. You remember when you were chasing me out from the meeting? Chetego, see how life can be. Hey! 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 All this for me. Hey! I'm going to get you one! 
Abo Gonkiti. One. Hey! Thank you. <laughs> Can you imagine that AJK now calls us his boys? Are we not? We are his boys, of course. <laughs> Wait, you know how long we have been suffering, struggling just to raise up 5,000 naira for the New Year festival that is coming up. And here we are with this kind of money 10,000 naira each. I beg you, cut you off AJK. That same AJK that could not afford to pay his meeting dues. Hey! See, me I left from here, Chima. Even if he calls me a dog, I will gladly respond in as much as is in my hand. Hey! They go na achi. Money, they say, rules the world. Hey! Cool money. Blood money. This is blood money. Blood or water, money is money. Chima, money works with the blood. Money works with blood. Okay. Ah. Don't pretend as if you have not heard that he used his late father for money rituals. Come on, for Ta. That is rumor. That is rumor. I will be believing all those things. It's not. Just few months after his late father's death, Nina cruises with the latest car. And throws money around like paper. And yet he said this rumor. Oh, rumor, governor. <laughs> see, see, see. What I want to tell you is that it is not my business. Whatever he wants to do. Even if you like, let him go and use his sister for money ritual. It is not of my business. I don't care. See, I don't believe in all this um, cock and boo story that people go about saying. All I believe in is talk and do and AGK is a good example of talk and do type hi chai if i book a ego igwe hi god please make me have this kind of money please so that i'll be able to enjoy in this life that i've come Come on, stand up stand up what is wrong with you are you not blind that you cannot see any longer? Huh? Are you not happy that I have this kind of money? Ha! Chibozo! 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 Mm? How many times did I call you? You call me three times. Three times. Don't show your hands because of money. Because all that glitters is not diamond or gold. Mr. Preacher, are you done preaching? Are you done with your sermons? So now, Chima, can we go? Can we go? You remember um, that that one brothers joint? Let us go there. This is money. This is money. Then Karapuzia Mata for Matayas. What a go? When he told me about that thing, he said it would take about uh, two weeks. Now it's over a month. Uh, it's taking too long, and that, that's about the um, best room in this uh, hotel. I don't like it. Tell him to. to Hurry up with this. Okay. Okay. I'm giving him one week. Okay. One week he should be done with the construction. Okay? okay? okay. Alright. See you guys. Bye. Bye. If a teacher dig on you, a go you go, a go you go, a go you go, a go you go, it's a little hungry. Nelly Nelly. Sophia, Sophia. Hello. I do. 
baby. How the rooms be last night now? Hope the guy dropped well up on my side, yo. Hi, you two. Eh? You two like you two like Roja. Eh? But don't worry, I go say to you. I beg no vessel. Who be that guy who just come out now now? The one already? Yes. Now our new girl, we just buy this place for our former uncle. I just pray no go sack us replace us with new stuff. What? This is unbelievable. How can AJK become so rich overnight to own a hotel? God, why was I not patient? No, this is all a mystery. Sophia, Sophia, ah, any problem? I will see you later. You. To the markets, and we'll soon be back. No problem, I'll wait. Hi! Hey, GK, man! Hey! Oh, there she comes. Hi! Okay, GK! Amanda! Okay, GK! Is this you? Is this your car? Hey! Okay, GK, welcome! I got a brown gong gong, my Amanda. I can see that! How have you been? I'm fine, no. I don't need to ask you. You're looking very good. Hey! No, I'm not coming for you. Hey! Hey, Hey! Please, let's go inside. You're welcome. Hey! Yes! Yeah. My dear, that's exactly how it happened. Hmm? Just like that. Strictly. God's grace upon me, mm. not by my power. I told you, didn't I? <laughs> I knew you would make it. You said it too. Thank God for your life. Thank God for us. <laughs> okay, uh, I'll have to leave you now. I want to go supervise one of my projects going on here in the village. Then I'll be going back to the city. <laughs> mm -hmm. That was very nice though. <laughs> hey, Oga, what about Auntie Sophia? Have you been able to see her? That one, that one. Don't, don't mention that name here again. It's bad news. It may be not my mood. No, oh, I'm sorry, sir. Nah, don't call me, sir. Huh? Bomb OJ. OJ is just fine. Okay. Call me OJ. OJ. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I've not forgotten what you did for me then. And I almost killed myself. You gave me 55,000 now. Oh, God. It's okay, it's from my heart. <laughs> this is 200,000 there. Take. Eh? Yes, for your upkeep. Oh God, this is too much for upkeep now. Ah, ah. Man, it's too much. It's not too much. Ah. For your upkeep, take. It's not too much, honestly. Considering what you did for me. It's not too much. Now I can afford it. Huh? And this is a uh, quick uh, pecker. It's so small. Wait till you tap into my 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 well of money. Mm, you embarrassing me, money. <laughs> Amanda. Mm. If we go. Ega brown gong gong mas. Oye we go se kwa eli. Oye we go se me gini. Kwa eli ubu no. Aga, hi Aga, I'm so grateful. My mother will be very happy. <laughs> Let me leave you now. Mm. Thank you. Have Safe nice journey. Day. Have a nice day. Mm, bye bye. <laughs>
enjoying the food. Yes, sir. And the wine. Fine. <laughs> I brought you here to tell you something. Where you go, I brought you here, not just for you to enjoy this meal or the wine, and also not for you, not just for you to spend time with me. Well, because I want to ask you for a few. Mm, what's that? Will you marry me? Sir? I hope when I'm not any bigger. I won't say no. Hmm. What about your wife? Sophia, my mistress. I do not have a wife anymore. You were there when she left. She belongs to my past now. Your past? Yes. Is there a future without a past? Well, sometimes you just have to let go of the past so you can move on with your future. And that's exactly what I intend to do with you. I want to make a future with you. Remember you once told me that the smile you put on the face of a man with a wounded heart is worth more than silver and gold. Remember? Yes. You've brought so much smile to my face and you have healed my wounded heart. Believe me, I do not want to go back to my days of misery and anguish. So, if you accept my proposal, just say yes and make me happy forever. Let me think about it. <laughs> Like mother, like daughter. Why not you go as a mother and so sit on her behalf? I'm not going in. I'm not! Hey! Papa, you must go! You must go! As the head of the family, you must go, Papa, you must go! Yes. Yeah. Now I'm making you the head. Where I'm detailed, I'm not complaining. You go, both of you and your mother, both of you. Go and beg me. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going with you. I'm not going! Now, if you in a match of one mouth, what you're doing is not good. This is our daughter that, 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 that needs help. Let us support her. Is it true?
We, your king's men, called you here for something very important. There is a mystery that has clouded our mortal comprehension, and we want you to help us resolve it. What I'm saying is that we all here know the hardship you were having before the death of your father. That is why we went an extra mile to contribute money to assist you for his burial immediately after his death. Is that not? Come on, man. But you decided we sh you should be kept in the mortuary for a while, and we agreed with you. But just a few months later, you came back to this village, buying lands, erecting structures, even took a chieftaincy title for yourself. Here. Uh, this is enough to raise eyebrow, and we here are not exempted. We are here to ask you, did you use our brother, your father, for money ritual? Ah. Is this why you people call me here? Yes. You know, how can you even think of such a thing? That I used my father, my own father, to do money rituals. For, Diego, eh? for who to enjoy the money with? How can you think of such a thing? My son, can you prove it? How do you want me to prove it? Huh? You are a son of the soil. And we have tradition here. There is a traditional way to resolve this matter. To clear yourself from all suspicion of people of Anuku and prove your innocence. You must take an oath before Ogugu, the chief priest. An oath? Me? Oh yes, an oath. To prove your innocence and avoid accusing fingers pointing at you, swear to a note. Ogugu day, Ogugu day. Ogwan onya bonega nega na ma no ngwa mo Ogugu di ebuma. Onya na ma no ngwa mo Ogugu di amube. Onya bonega nega. Son of Ibudu, this is the circle of justice. Step into it to prove your innocence. Moment of revelation. The son of Ibudu. This is the calabash of justice. If you are guilty, Ogugu will strike you with madness. And this calabash will turn upside down. But if you are innocent, the content of this calabash will turn crystal white. And you will be free. Innocent. He is innocent. He is innocent. 
Tradition demands a brief stopover of the cops at his home, and that's exactly what we have done. With your permission, Igwe, may we now proceed to the main house, where I built a befitting mansion for my father. There he will be buried, and his title will be given to him. Well, illustrious son of Aloko, you have done your best. Let us now proceed as you have demanded. Thank you, Igwe.
see me I, I'll, I'll send you my current residential address you can come and see me I'll, I'll send it right away through text SMS oh, all right Cheer. okay no problem I'll be expecting you Mr. Maxwell building I finished the other day was the fastest. But with what you're doing here, Chief, you are the best. <laughs> you are the best. Of course, I'll be the best now, John. Hey, go on, go on, go on. I greet you, sir. Very much. I really appreciate it. Okay, it's okay. I'll see you later on. Eh? <laughs> Back to what I was saying. But, sir, this is not the reason why I came to see you. Uh, yes, sir. No problem. You can wait for me by the corner. Eh? When I finish, I'll see you. Hey! Uh, Onyisi! Yeah. Thank you, sir. Uh, so, Educate my brother. Please help me. Get up, get up, get up. Don't kneel before your fellow man, eh? Talk to me like a man. Come over. Hey, GK. I am really tired of roaming about in this village. Doing many old jobs that cannot even feed me properly. Please see, I'm ever ready to do whatever it takes to make money. I am desperate to be rich. Eh? See, I know that money comes with blood. And I'm ever ready for anything. I mean, when I say anything, anything, anything it takes, it will be a secret between me and you. It will be a sacred oath. I like your spirit. Hmm? I like your courage. This is why I will be a job at Ego. Huh? I will help you. Thank you, sir. Believe me. Thank you, EJK. I'm really grateful. I will show you the secret, my secret to success. Huh? Yes. I will help you. Close your eyes. I should close my eyes. Yeah. Close your eyes. Raise your hands very high to the sky. Raise your hands. And pray to the Almighty God. I don't understand. I know you will not understand. What I just told you now is exactly what I do. This is what I do every day. This is the secret, my secret to success. You see, I started my business with very little money, small money. And within a short period of time, I grew. That is because God is with me. I mean, look at the filling station I'm building here. Huh? 
It's not any other thing. It is God. I believe in the Almighty God. And trust me, if you do the same thing, you too will grow. I did not come here for all these morals. I came here for you to help me. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. And it's the same thing that many youths in our country think. You think that once you see a rich man living well, driving big cars, building houses, and he's a ritualist. One night, my one way go. I was blessed by God. I believe in God. I work hard and I trust in Him. And He has blessed me. Do the same thing. Hmm? You see what I told you? It's my secret. Follow it very well. Pray to God every day. Believe in Him and He will bless you. Finally, if we are Diego, see you later. Yeah, it's coming. Aha, uh -huh, come. Cool. How are you? Fine, sir. Uh, you get some people way down outside. They say they want to see you. Okay. Who are the people? Uh, you say name Nana, yo. Nana. Oh, it's here, it's here. Okay, let him in. Okay. Yeah. Ah, my son. Yeah. <laughs> Good day, sir. Good day, my son. You're welcome, sir. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Oh, yes, sir. No problem, sir. No problem. Thank you. All right. Good day, darling. Make yourself comfortable. Hey, you're welcome. I hope it was not uh, difficult locating no, my place. No, no, not at all, my son, not at all. I must confess, my son, this is a paradise that you have here. <laughs> Thank you very much, Che. It's actually the Lord's doing. Hmm? Let me get you something to drink, some refreshments. No, no, not now. We must have finished, my son. Uh, yes. Well, my son, I came in respect of what this cost of food. Uh, you see, I will say that the toe does not move around in the sunlight in vain. <sighs> it is about something that has been of great concern to me. This is about my daughter here, who I abandoned you in the past, against my approval. I've come to apologize on her behalf. She has regretted all her actions and all the wrongs she has done against you. And she has asked me to solicit on her behalf. My son, I know how you feel, like any other young man in your shoes about the emotional betrayer. Please, my son, in the name of God, forgive her and accept her back as your wife, please. Hmm. Okay, well, um, Richie, I, I've heard you. But, it's actually too late. Too late? Are you still not have forgiven her? Oh, I've forgiven her. Believe me. Totally, I've forgiven her. But like I said, Ichi, it's too late. Excuse me. Darling! Baby! Hi. Nem. Mommy! Uh, Please come. Uh, we have this to Yes. <laughs> Good day. Welcome, my daughter. What? Uh, Ichi, meet my new wife, Amanda. Good day, sir. Welcome, my daughter. Never! My housemaid! Point of correction. Hmm? My lovely wife, Amanda. <sighs> my son, it is late indeed. Except you are ready for polygamy. You can't take a second wife. Father! What are you saying? <laughs> Do you realize that? That, that, that she's my, my maid? My maid? Excuse me, was not anymore. 
Yeah. Will you shut your mouth? You you gutter pig! Swear I can pick from the slaw! Hey, hey. Watch your tongue. Do not insult my wife. I will not take it. Chie. Biko, tell her. Watch the way you talk to me. Watch your words. I should have known. I should have known you've always had eyes for her behind my back. And I bet you she is a more loving, caring and virtuous woman. More than you put together in a million folds. And of course, did I force did I force her? No, you didn't. I'm sorry, Sophia. Whatever happened to you was your fault. I'm sorry. Please don't humiliate me before the world. Please. Please. I'm actually done with this conversation. Chie, you go. Um, I, I know you must have come from a very far place. My wife made very good soup. Pounded hmm? Let's give you something to eat. By the time you're done, I have drinks. My son, I think I must be going. Chie, you know, my journey is very far. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. No uh, let's go. If you don't want to go, I'm leaving you behind to embarrass yourself. Huh? One each year. Okay. 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 Should I call or come to throw her out? Let her be. She'll go by herself.
Bibi. Bibi. Bibi, you can't keep doing this to yourself. Huh? You can't keep you can't keep doing this to yourself. You don't you don't sleep every minute you're worrying, you're crying. Come on, do you want to kill me? You want to kill yourself. You know no better I'm dead. Now living each day with agony, tears, humiliation of barrenness. Baby, you don't know how it hurts. You don't know how it hurts to see my fellow women carry their own children with the affection of a mother. You don't know. Why well, I can't even conceive for four good years. I can't even make you a man. <laughs> I am tired. I am tired of the mockery. I am tired of the misfortune. I am tired of the insult I get from my fellow women about my infertility. I am tired. I am tired. I understand the way you feel. Okay? I understand the way you feel, but God gives children. And he gives children at his own appointed time. We, 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 can, we can't force children out from him. It's not possible. All right? when, when, when? What we need is time and patience. Right? Patience. We're going to have children. There's nothing wrong with us medically. We just have to be patient. Okay? Huh? Okay, okay, okay. I have a suggestion. Hmm? I believe we're still going to have children, okay? At God's own time. But while we wait, um, can we... Can we adopt? Adopt? So I will recommend for you a month old child picked by the roadside by unknown person. Uh, sorry, I don't need an infant child. Taking care of her will break my emotions. Oh. Yes, I need a child of about four to five years. Hmm? Mm. In that case, we have a girl of four to five years old, though she's new, but very lovely and so special for you to have. I would love to see her. Okay, we'll get her for you. Thank you. <laughs>
Which one is this one? No, who got scared? it with the other refuse done by the fence. Now. Okay. Oh, come, come. Listen to me very carefully. There are other of my husband's documents inside there. They're no longer important, but I need it to be burned. You must burn them. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. I wouldn't want another eyes to see it. Am I understood? Yes, ma'am. Oh, yeah, go. Hold on, let me finish up, okay? So I could come and help you with your homework. Can't you see I'm terribly dirty? Have up, mommy. Come here. <laughs> oh, come! What are you standing there for? Sorry, madam. Father, help me! Help me! Son! Why did you destroy the statue I gave to you? Why? Father, help me! Help me! Help me! Anything from, from there, you know, wardrobe, top, top of wardrobe. Of course, honey. I did a thorough cleanup last week and I got rid of some irrelevant stuff. Irrelevant stuff? Uh, uh, I'm, I'm actually looking for something like like a, uh, uh, like an artwork, kind of. Like a crocodile? Yes, where is it? <laughs> it was amongst the, the trash I bought. Bought? Hey! Oh. But it's just 
an ordinary act work. It's not just a statue. It's a, it's a beautiful artwork, piece of art, you know? My friend gave to me yeah, as a gift. Beautiful art. I'm sorry, I didn't know you still need it. Never mind. Well, I'm leaving for work. Your coffee and breakfast. I don't need it. I like you to touch We have a call to hit tonight. Come with us, and your fears and curiosity will be unraveled tonight. Please. Around you is what you are part of. Fear not, <gasps> my son. Father! Listen very carefully. I initiated you into this brotherhood shortly before my death. Father. It is behind your sudden and amazing wealth, which you paid nothing for, except for your unborn children. That is why your wife will remain barren. Father. The statue I gave to you before my death is a symbol of your secret initiation, which you defiled the oath of allegiance because your new wife burnt it and the Oriobara became provoked. And as such, an atonement must be made to appease Oriobara. Father, Father, who, who is Uriobara? Father, he is gone to the land of his ancestors. You must now face your fate. The blood of your wife is the only worthy sacrifice, for she violated the sacred oath. You have to kill. Ha yourself. This is your own prize. The due process of the rituals. You have no choice here. Whatever Oriobra wants, he gets. Return and do as I have commanded. You have twelve days. She must die. She must die. Baby. Huh? You look quite unusual. Is anything the problem? Oh, there's no problem. I'm, 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 I'm fine. Are you sure you're okay? I'm fine, I'm fine, it's okay, I'm fine. Okay, well, I came to tell you that the dinner is ready. Uh huh. Okay, uh... Alright, you, 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 you can go, I'll, 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 I'll be with you. Okay. She must die. She must die. 
Left three days. Now, please, I'm begging you. I know nothing about this thing. I didn't beg you to put me in any. In any leave me alone now, please. You belong to me. Hi. Hi. Is that, uh? Who are you talking to? Nobody. But my, uh, I was talking to myself. Really? Mm, really. So that. Are you done with your cookies? Yes. Mm, okay. Stay with me. Silence since. <laughs> well, do you not believe when I told you that this world is full of mystery? That only men with supernatural and potential powers can conquer. It is not enough for you to amass wealth. You need power. Power to protect yourself and your wealth. <laughs> anyway, since you are now beginning to reason like a man, no more a boy, I will show you the way. Yeah, <laughs> I will help you. I will take you away from your present predicament. Money, Pico, 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 I beg you. Any way you can help me, help me. I know nothing about this thing. How, whatever you can do, just start now. Not to worry. Now you will know why they call me Utu Mabrain. The nail that nailed the cow. <laughs> uh. 
Shell, up. Everything will be fine. Don't worry. You have successfully passed the final phase of your initiation. Welcome to the brotherhood of power and affluence. We're young men dying with the spirit of ancestors. We're young minds communicate with immortals. You are untouchable. Fear not. For no evil can befall you or any member of your family, especially your wife, like you feel. Take this. It is the oil of protection. You will sprinkle it the whole of your house. Do this at midnight. That no harm meant by any man against you can affect you. Oboli will be with you. Thank you, great one. Thank you. Though our protection comes with a price, you shall live five more of your years. The rest of your life shall go to Oboli. Huh? Oboli had spoken. Have a swell day. Snake, it was just somewhere around there. Okay, where the snake they make a killer? I don't know. It is. I don't know. It is. It disappeared. It, check, check, just go behind the, uh, the house. Check. Be quick. 
big snake. Really? Huh. But it's, it's nothing. I'm, I'm fine. Okay? You, hey, you go back to your supposed class today. There's nothing to worry about. I'm fine, huh? It's nothing, I'm fine. Obviously. million tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> That's not like you being my account manager. <laughs> ah, OJ, my man. What am I supposed to your man? I was not your man, my friend. I'm not your man. Open up my your man, you man. You man, leave me. Okay, man, leave me. That place you took me to is rubbish. Don't do rubbish. Don't. These people are still disturbing me. I was down him. Do you know what it means to give your life? I, I accepted to give the few years of my to live only for a few years. I give the rest of my life to you who are not your stupid temple so I can protect my wife, my one that I love. I did you know what it means, Wuka man? Something else to come This is what's still disturbing me. I can't sleep. Let me shout. Let them hear. This is public place. Don't shout it. Then, but are you sure you, you, you follow the instruction as Oboli directed? Wuka, I followed everything the way that you have your job. Stupid of what your whatever told me. I followed everything. I sprinkled that thing all around my house. I even spread it on my body. Remaining for me to drink it. I, I didn't know this thing came here. I was happy. In the morning, I woke up again. I, I saw people go down. The next thing I saw those two old men. Were, I cannot sleep. Okay. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You shouted. Um, um, you know what? I think we have to go and consult a bully again. Let us consult him now. Now. You will not run away. Now. Let's consult him now. Okay, Bella. Come, let's, let's go and consult the job. Do not be afraid, for nothing is impossible with Oboli. Since Oliobara had remained stubborn, 
I shall destroy him. Destroy him. Please. Destroy him. How dare you challenge the great old opera? How dare you trouble one of my own? You shall flee from him or face my destruction right now. You stubborn mortal! You are no match for Ryobara! You must die! You die first! something with you. Okay, what's it? You are my husband. And we've been married for years now. We have shared both joy, love, victory, and even the deepest secrets together. But I'm afraid something is taking a different dimension right now. And I need to know, what is going on? What do you mean? Something is haunting you deep inside. You don't want to tell me. I still don't understand what you're saying. Some, something like, like, like what? You don't understand. You don't understand the sudden strange behavior. The incident scream. You don't understand the talking aloud when you were alone. Like someone hallucinating. The flimsy excuses you give me each time I ask you could make every reasonable human being to raise an eyebrow. So, what's your point now? Huh? What's your point? Are, are you trying to say that you're, you're suspecting me that I'm diabolic? Is that, is that the point? Baby, I can never suspect you. My husband is not diabolic. All I'm asking you is to open up to me. Tell me the truth so that we could break this yoke of the devil together like we've always done. Please, honey. I need to come in and share your grief with you. You need to tell me the truth. Look at you. It's written all over you. You can't even hide it. I have not been myself lately. I need to know what's going on with my husband. I need to know if you truly love me like you've always said. Why do you allow me to hurt like this? 
<laughs> Why won't you tell me the truth? Why? so overwhelmed by my, my, my sudden wealth, I never really suspected anything until recently. anything from, from there, you know, wardrobe, top, top of wardrobe. Of course, honey. I did a thorough cleanup last week and I got rid of some irrelevant stuff. Irrelevant stuff? Uh, uh, I'm, I'm actually looking for something like, like, a, uh, like an artwork, kind of. Like a crocodile? Yes. Where is it? <laughs> it was amongst the, the trash I bought. Bought? Hey! Artwork. It's not just a statue. They're a beautiful artwork, piece of art, you know? My friend gave to me as a gift. Beautiful art. I'm sorry, I didn't know you still need it. Never mind. Well, I'm leaving for work. Your coffee and breakfast? I don't need it. I like juice box. It's unusual. Oh. Uh, that, that, that was why I was so curious about that strange statue. Because it was my father's last gift to me on that very day we met before his death. Papa, why are you stopping? I was supposed to be going home. Uh, I remember something that is very important and needs urgent attention. Okay. Let me rush and collect my money from Ojuku 
For the pan when I supplied him before my ailment, lest he travels to Atani, as he told me yesterday. Now, can, can't it wait? Let's get home first. I can go and get it for you. Son, I must hurry. It is something I cannot risk. I will join you at home soon. Hmm? Okay, if you say so. Uh, one thing more, my son. There is something very important. Lest I forget, let me give it to you now and here. Take it. Just take it. Take it, my son. Papa. My son. What is, what is this? What is it for? That is a symbol of greatness, long life, and protection. This thing? Yes. I secured it from a great source. Keep it with you wherever you are going to live as a home. And do not allow it to leave your household for any reason. If it does, regret shall be the aftermath. So be warned. <laughs> Papa, you started sounding strange again, just like you did uh, yesterday when you came. Uh, what? I've never known you to be a superstitious person. Well, what is this for? Son, situation calls for this. Situation calls for this. Like I told you, this statue is not an ordinary one. It's not. It will herald your future. More as a demigod to you. So don't joke with it like you would not like to joke with your father. Have I ever disappointed you? Never. Good. So you should show more obedience to your father in return. Oh, okay, Papa, but um, at least we can discuss it more when you come back from Ah, oh, If fate wills. How do you mean? <laughs> My son. Can't your father joke with you? Now no, no, remember, if fate permits it all, even our last breath. That's true. That's true. Good. Sir, see you. Okay, Papa. Well, um, Papa, wait, wait. I can, I can help you with your bag. Let me keep it at home. No, son. I can carry it. At least I will put in something that I will get from where I'm going to, into it. Yes. Okay. No problem. Yes. Um, one thing. My son. For the last time, never allow anybody, anybody, to hear all the things we have discussed recently. Am I clear? Good. You are blessed. Go well. Take care, myself. I'll be expecting you at home. Fallen. Which Hiroko? We lost your father yesterday. Eh? My father. The whole thing was all so strange to me. Poor me. Innocent me. I, I never paused for a, a, a critical reflection until that fateful night. Please, 
Please, Abel. Why are you people? Don't hurt me. Nico, please. We have a call to hit tonight. Come with us. And your fears and curiosity will not have it tonight. Please. Please. <laughs> very carefully. I initiated you into this brotherhood shortly before my death. Father, it is behind your sudden and amazing wealth, which you paid nothing for, except for your unborn children. That is why your wife will remain barren. Father, the statue I gave to you before my death a symbol of your secret initiation which you defiled the oath of allegiance because your new wife burnt it and Oriobara became provoked and as such an atonement must be made to appease Oriobara. Father, Father, who, who is Oriobara? Ancestors, you must now face your fate. The blood of your wife is the only one is sacrificed, for she violated the sacred oath. You have to kill her yourself. This is your own pride. The due process of the rituals. You have no choice here. Whatever Oliver wants, he gets. Return and do as I have commanded. You have 12 days. <laughs> exactly what you heard. They asked me to kill you. I, I, I couldn't. I've not been able to do it. I, I just couldn't imagine myself taking the life of the woman I love. I, I kept on rejecting them. And they've been haunting me ever since, till this very day. <laughs> okay. It's okay. They can't hurt us anymore. It's okay. Oh. Sweetheart, I had already spoken with the pastor before confronting you, and he promised us victory. I want us to meet with him, okay? Be rest assured that the plans of the enemy in our lives will be shattered, okay? Don't be scared. I'm with you. Hmm? Mr. and Mrs. Pastor. I thank God that you are here today. The Bible makes us understand that when the redeemer of the Lord returns, there is rejoicing in heaven. I thank God that people are here today. He said, I will contend with him that will contend with you. Thank you, Jesus. He said, the snare is broken and we are escaped. He said that even the prey of the mighty will be taken away by that one who is higher than him. And who is higher? He is the mightier than the mightiest. Our Lord Jesus. Ah, let us pray. Be power of worship. Ah! Yes! Yes! 
to calm down and look for a way forward. There is no other way forward. It's obvious you are going to die. No, I won't. My life is in the hands of God. Silas! Tonight is the night she must die. Her soul belongs to me. You not have my own. Stay away, you feeble thing, before you join her in death. My baby! Get him, woman. The time is over, you creature of an ancient evil. Now flee from here. No, 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 please stop! No. Do not be afraid, for God is the armor of battle, and his shield is upon you. How dare you interfere? <laughs> Won't you stay away from my affair? Please. You enemy! <laughs> of the Most High God, sent from heaven for this very assignment. God has foreseen this, and for that reason, I took the form of men to dwell among you for a day like this. But you are a child! I'm a guiding angel, but the child of the Most High God. Thank you. Thank you for saving my life. I'm only a servant of the Most High God. I deserve no praise, but he that sent me. Now that my mission is accomplished, I shall go back to where I belong. But before I go, let me warn you that what is Caesar's must be turned to Caesar and what is God to God. You bear a child and you shall call his name Emmanuel for God is with you. Are you serious? Hmm. First, my wife and I, we came back. We saw that our big house, it was on fire. I'm telling you, fire, not was on fire. All my cars were on fire in that house. I don't know how it happened. The next thing, I got a call that my petrol station was also on fire. We left and we went to a hotel to rest. The next day, I got a call that my house, you know my big house in the village, yes, so yes. down there. My house collapsed completely. I now decided to start another business. You know, do something else. Just leave that area for them. My two friends that introduced me to the to the business, I didn't know that those guys were fraudsters. The next thing, mm, EFCC boom. Don't believe it. My accounts were frozen. Every I just got out now. I'm telling you, the case is still in court. One day. see me now, back to my house in the village. So I'm now 1880. This is serious. Uh, I thank you, brother. Huh? Honestly, I, I thank you, Collins. At least you even 
immediately you heard this, you decided to call and even come down here to check on me. Unlike uh, my other friends in the oil and gas sector, everybody has forgotten me. Even the people <coughs> I helped. Everybody. God will not forgive me if I abandon you, Oje. I mean, not uh, after all you did for me, practically introducing me to this business that have turned me into money guard. <laughs> that even more of my friends envy me. Yours is a golden heart and um, that is why I have decided to reward you. Um, here is a check for 10 million naira. Hmm? Eh? Let's just say it's a non-refundable loan. Hmm? Yeah. You can have it. Hey! Hmm? Hi! Just take it. Hi! God bless you, my brother. God bless you. For God me? bless you. Don't say it. You deserve more of this. God bless you. Try. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> At least you remember. I will always remember you. Rise, my friend, my brother. One more. Rise. <laughs> God bless you, my friend. Um, I think I'll be running now. You won't take me more. Um, don't worry. He knows how we do it. Uh, you, you can take it home. Ah, uh, come on, Oje. Um, please. Do take care of him. I always hmm? do. Please take care of him. Let me roll. Okay, no problem. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Yeah. God bless you. Precious. No problems at all. I <laughs> I got the contract. Yes, yes, they've even given me a mobilization fee. Of course. So just send me account number. Um, hopefully tomorrow I'll transfer 12 million naira into your account. Yeah, no problem at all. But Naya one there, listen. I hope you will deliver. That's my own, but the money is not a problem. You know, I'll, I'll be very busy. I won't be able to check on you. Hope you will deliver. This thing, bro, up our state government contract. Pico, I want I'm nanny. Huh? I need to be sure you... Wait, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I I'll call you back, Pico. Doctor, how far? Mr. Igbodo, congratulations. Your wife just delivered of a bouncing baby boy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, doctor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Uh, uh, can, can, can I can I can I see her now? Don't be in a hurry. Just a few minutes. I'll see you. Thank you. Amanda, how could you? Huh? I mean, uh, how could you? You mean you brought in a total stranger into this house, my house, without informing me? Or them ma? Honey, I'm very sorry. I should have told you. But considering the story I just told you about her, I think we should please adopt her. Excuse me. 
I don't too. Did you just hear yourself? It be one of this country. Huh? I mean, considering what the society is like right now, this, this wicked world, wicked society. You want to adopt a child you just picked up from the church gates. You don't even know her. I, I know, I know, my love. Enoqua. I know everything. I know how you feel about this. But please, you have to calm down and understand me, okay? The girl is homeless and helpless. She told me her story and it would be so wicked of me to have left her in that condition after hearing her story. So I picked her up. Please, honey. Let's forget about how the society says this. Let's do it for our conscience. For God too. Please. Please. <sighs> I'll do this for you. I'll allow her to stay for now. Adopting her for now. I say no. 